Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to uh, make list box dynamic and switch to different data range on selection. We will also learn how to create a dynamic name with the help of Visual Basic application code and assign it to list box row source. So we are going to make it uh, totally dynamic and you can use this logic and the code in your automation project so let's start creating this from scratch so let's switch to excel application and here you can see that i have saved this file with showing multiple lists in a single list box dynamically dot xlsm so make sure whenever you save this file it should be uh, the extension should be xlsm okay for macro and here I have created a, a worksheet that is the name of worksheet is data and in this particular worksheet we have three different tables it has only one column that is month name and day name but the third table has two different columns one is a student name and the class so we are going to utilize like use this uh, month name day name and a student table in our list box and we will switch uh, to all these source on selection so we will utilize option button control to switch from month name to day name and day name to student's name so uh, let's insert a command button over here so that whenever user will click on that command button it will show the user form so to insert a command button just go to developer tab and in control groups just click on insert here and in activex controls just select this command button activex control and draw this command button over here and then click on properties and give the name as cmd show cmd show form and the caption would be show form just close this properties window okay this place over here. come out from designing mode so now we have created a command button let's move to visual basic application window so to move visual basic application window you just need to click on developer tab and then under code group just click on visual basic icon just click on this so now we are in visual basic window let's insert a user form so to insert a user form just click on insert menu and then click on user form so here uh, we have a blank user form over here so let's uh, change the properties of form so just select this form and click on properties and just give the name the user form name should be frm form okay and the caption would be just uh, change the caption so here the caption would be dynamic list okay and the height would be uh, let's change the height so that should be 170 and the width width should be 290 so let's pick 290 okay so we have uh, done with the properties of this form control uh, let's select this form and insert some control so first of all we need to insert frame so let's click on this frame over here in toolbox window just click over here and draw a frame okay and just give the caption of this frame show okay and the font size should be 10 okay now we need to insert three option buttons in this particular frame so just click the option button from toolbox just select this give the name as opt month and the caption would be month okay just copy this month option button and replace this again one more for So we have three different option buttons. One is for month. The second would be for day. So name would be OPT day. 
and caption would be day and the name of third would be opt student and the caption would be student okay so we have done with the creation of option buttons so that user can select uh, to switch from one uh, list box to different list box thing so now we have done with the all those option buttons and frames let's insert one list box so this is the list box let's draw a list box over here now uh, let's change the name of list box that would be lst details so uh, the name should be lst details okay so we do not need to change any other properties for this particular list box now we need to insert a label over here so that whenever you select like month so it will show the month and then date and then day okay so it will basically help you to identify the selection so let's select the label create the label over here okay and just go to the properties just keep the name label one just change the caption that should be selected details okay just font size should be maybe nine so now we have done with uh, the form creation as well as uh, you know all those controls which are required for this particular form so let's start coding so first of all we need to write the code uh, on form initialization to create dynamic names because see we have already created the name the table over here so maybe that uh, this particular table will you know extend the range will extend so what we need to do we need to create a uh, name for month name month day and this particular table name so with the help of visual basic application code we will create three different names dynamically and then we will utilize all these names as a row source properties for list box so let's move to visual basic and to create the name basically or to initialize all those controls we will write the code on form initialization so just select this form click on view code and just select the event as initialize we do not need form user form underscore click so first of all we need to declare three different variables to identify the last row in each and every table so let me switch to excel so here we need to identify what is the last row basically as of now it's a 13 it's a 8 and for it's a 9 row okay so just go to visual basic let's declare a variable three different variables basically name i month as long and the second would be dim i day so let's give a proper name basically so month row and day row as long and dim i t u student row as long so it should be dim okay so let us identify the last uh, row in month day and student so i month row is equal to sheets and we are going to utilize this particular uh, sheets that is the data sheet data dot range and our month table is available in a column so let's say a then percent rows dot counts so here a uh, rows dot count will provide the last row available in our excel application okay so rows dot count dot and excel up dot row the same code would be uh, i day basically uh, the day so i day row is equal to let's copy this code and here we just need to make the modification so our month column is available in a column month table is available in a column and day is available in uh, c column so the code and again let's copy this line of code here again for a student and 
I student just replace this so and student table is starting from F column so let's change the F so now we have done with the coding to find the last row available in each and every table okay so let's create three different name so let's put comment creating month name and the code would be this workbook dot names let's give some room okay so this workbook just names dot add and the name would be here the name would be because we are going to create the month so month underscore name okay and refers to refers to local okay and the range would be sheets and the sheets we are going to refer data sheets and the range would be a column basically that should be start from a to a and we have already identified the last you know row in a column basically so uh, i month row so this is for uh, creating month name let's copy this code line of code and paste it for creating day name day name okay so for day name that the name would be day here and the refers to local basically uh, our day uh, data is available in, in the C column so that should be over C and here C and the last row would be I day row now just copy the again this line of code and replicate this for student table so again here student student name this workbooks dot names add and the, the name would be student name you the student name and as our data the student table is starting from F to G so a starting column would be F and the row would be 2 and the last column would be G and just copy the I student row the variable where we have already stored the last row and just paste over here so now you can see that we have created three different name month name day name and student name on form initialization it means whenever uh, this form will load in memory it will create it will identify the last row in that particular worksheet that is data and create three different uh, name that is month name yeah month name day name and student name so now we have done with the form initialization code let's uh, move to form window here and let's write code on e click event of month day and student so first of all let's start with month so let's select this and double click on month and create some room over here so first of all uh, whenever user will click on form we need to set the label one and show that month has been selected so me dot label one dot caption uh, sorry it should be caption and the caption would be month name okay So as month column is only one column and we do not uh, want to show the column header for month so let's select the properties me dot lsc details dot column count and the column count is equal to one because month column has only one column right and me dot lsc details dot column heads and the column head should be false because we do not want to show the heads over here because we are already utilizing the caption and to show the name like month name has been selected now we need to set the row source for uh, list details to so me dot lsc list details dot row source and the row source would be uh, a month underscore name 
and the here month name is the name which we created on form initialization so this code is done let's copy the entire code from here to here okay just visit to frm form and double click on opt day here and just paste the code which we copied from opt month and here uh, the caption of label should be day again the column count is one because we have only one column that is day column and there should not be any heads because we are already utilizing the label caption over here and the lst row source should be day name because user has clicked on day now just copy this code visit to frm form and select the print double click on it and just replicate this so here uh, we uh, need to show like let's give the caption as student table and in student table we have two different column one is student name and one is class so we need to show uh, like we need to give the column count to and we need to show the column headers basically because this is the this particular list will contain uh, multiple columns so we need to show the headers as well so let's give true and the row source should be student name okay so we have done with all those required codes uh, let's move to debug so you can see that uh, there is no error so let's move to excel and now we need to write the code to show the form so just click on design mode and double click on show form and in the show form just write the code frm form dot show close this visual basic application window come out from designing mode and now we have done with the required coding so let's click on show form to, for testing and now you can see that while form is getting initialized uh, there is no selection basically we, like month day or student so let's select a month so as we selected month it's showing month name as a header this particular header uh, like the label and here list box is showing this particular range once we will click on day it will switch from month name to day name and it's showing day name and and showing all those dates uh, they are available in this particular range and now the third column the, uh, the third table is totally different because here we have two different columns so it means we need to show multiple columns in the list box as we have already written the code to show the column headers like student name and column and two columns basically so let's click on student and now we can see that student name in class so student name and class are showing as a column headers and the rest of the data are uh, items basically for list items so uh, this is all about how to create a dynamic list box and change the row source of list box and selection hope you enjoy this tutorial thank you for watching please like share subscribe and comment have a great day